Hey creative, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So this is day three of our Christmas craft series and what better way to deck the halls than with sequin pillows. I'll have everything I use listed in the description box below. And if you like this video, you learned something up, make sure you give your girl a thumbs up, share with your friends, make sure that bell notification is on so you don't miss any of my upcoming Christmas craft tours. Hey creative. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead over to canva.com. We're going to hit create a design, custom size, and whatever size paper you're using are the dimensions you'll want to go ahead and enter right here. I'm using 13 by 19 size paper. So those are the dimensions that I'll enter. Okay, so for this design, I'm just gonna go over to the Elements tab in Canva and use um, something out of here. And to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and type Christmas, uh, go to graphics or images, whatever you wanna use. And I'm just going to scroll down until I find something that I like. So the graphic that I'm going to use is a Canva Pro feature. I mean, yeah, it is a Canva Pro feature. So it's free for me to use, but if you don't have Canva Pro, you will have to pay. So if you would like to try Canva Pro free for 30 days, I will leave um, my affiliate link in the description box for you to go ahead and try out, okay? I use Canva for everything. It's definitely worth the investment. Okay, so here's my design. And my pillow is about 15 by 15, so I'm just going to go ahead and stretch it out until I get to that size. Or close to the size. It doesn't have to take up the whole pillow. Well, I guess I can't do 15 by 15 because my paper is only 13 inches wide. So I'm just going to go ahead and stretch it out to the um, width of my paper, which is a pretty good size. So I'm just doing a design on the sequence, but this pillow can be sublimated on both sides, right? So I'm just going to um, stick with this. This looks great. Go ahead up here to the top toolbar and flip it. Then we're just going to go ahead and save it. Download it to your computer as a PNG. And then you'll go ahead and print it out with your sublimation printer. So while everything is printing out and our pressing is heating up, we're going to go ahead and flip all of our sequins to the white side. You can only sublimate on the white side. And some of them are a little bit more stubborn than others. So I just like to take a sequin and just kind of, you know, pick the ones that need a little bit extra help turning over. Now, the thing about sequins is that you can burn them, okay? So when I press my sequin pillows, I only press at about 380 degrees for about 45 seconds. So if you've ever really had trouble with like um, your sequin pillows and you feel like the picture doesn't all go back in place or, you know, something of that nature, your um, temperature may be too high or your pressure is too high, you may have burnt it, okay? So like kind of like medium pressure and about 380 degrees. And it also depends on when you get your blanks from, okay? All sequin pillows are not the same. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and take my design and just heat tape it on there to secure it. And we'll just go ahead and press. Sequin pillows are great because you can just like do, you know, something super simple like this. Or of course, it can be customized with pictures. Um, just so many things, you guys. And the sequins are so pretty. Come in all kinds of colors and things. And this is great for beginners. Like if you're just starting out with sublimation and, you know, you want like a hot seller to sell, you know, or whatnot, sequin pillows are definitely the way to go, okay? And of course, everything will be linked in the description box below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.